Greetings, this is Pastor Jared with the reading from December 5th. The reading from December 5th is Psalm 22, verses 1 through 18. A Psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. He, let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, the strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a raving and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Um, psalm 22 is a psalm of David. And in fact, was written in a historical uh, circumstances. David often in the times of Saul and then in the times of the rebellion of his son um, was in times of danger. And he would often write psalms of lament in order to express that. So it's a psalm of David. What is it doing in anticipation of the birth of Christ in our readings? Well, in Psalm 22, you may have recognized some of the language there. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? These are the very words of Christ on the cross. Remember when uh, Jesus is walking through a town and there's a blind man who wants to see. And when he's told that Jesus is there, what does he say? Son of David, have mercy on me. That was one of the titles of Jesus, son of David, that connected him with the line of the kings that connected him with the promise that from the line of Judah, which David was, the king will come. And David, as he writes this, this is true for him as metaphor. He says it is like his bones are out of joint. It's like his heart is like wax and melted within his chest. And yet, what's amazing, I think, about Psalm 22 is that Psalm 22 is more true for Jesus than it was for David. It's more true that Christ felt the pain of, of being forsaken as he felt the weight of sin being taken in himself on the cross where he became sin on our behalf and took our sin upon him. He felt it more acutely than David did. He felt more acutely the fact that people shouted at him, he trusted in the Lord, let him deliver him. Or saying, oh, is he shouting to Elijah? Maybe Elijah will rescue him. It's even more true that his heart melted within him as they pierced the side of Christ and water came out. It is more true for David, for Jesus than David, that it wasn't as if they were tearing at his possessions and counting them up. They were of saying, they divided my garments among them and for my clothing they cast lots for his robe to see who would get it among them. The soldiers. Psalm 22 tells us not only is this a seed of the woman that this will be true for, 
not only will this be true for someone who's from the line of Judah, as uh, the David uh, connection says, not only is this the prophet in Deuteronomy, not only is this the son that you must kiss lest he be angry from Psalm 2, this tells us in Psalm 22, there's an anticipation of a sacrifice. And in fact, I don't know that many people realize Psalm 22 is a prophecy until it was fulfilled. However, we do. And so we can look back and see that in fact, the Messiah, the one that was promised, the anointed one, was one who would suffer. One that was made to suffer. And perhaps it's confusing about that. When Jesus told others that in fact, the Son of God had to suffer, they didn't understand. They didn't understand that Jesus would identify with his people to the point where he took on their, their pain and their sin to pay for them, as we'll see later, especially when we get to the Isaiah reading.